Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I just wanted to do a quick um, favorites video. I haven't done one since I think February. Um, yeah, and since it's the VIB sale going on right now, I thought I would make this like my favorites and VIB sale recommendations. So if you're VIB Rouge, you probably already shopped the VIB sale because it started on the 26th but it's going until May 6th and there's different dates I believe for different tiers so I'll leave the information below because I don't know it off by heart um, I actually didn't really do my VIB sale shopping spree that I normally do because I did redeem my um, $100 reward VIB Rouge reward thing and I was saving it for the sale and then I realized I couldn't even use it for the sale because it's not a real gift card it's like a promotion so they won't let you use both at the same time unfortunately so I did do a haul like I did buy stuff with that gift card because it expires in June anyway but um I didn't get a discount so that kind of sucked but anyway these are my current favorites um some of them they're you don't even get them at sephora so yeah and some of them i don't even think are available anymore <laughs> unfortunately but i didn't just want to like throw things in for no reason like these are actually the products that are my favorite right now so let's just get started it's a lot of lip products actually um, maybe I'll go in order of like, I don't know, we'll see. The first thing is actually a VIB sale recommendation because you can get it at Sephora. It's the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. If you've seen my other videos, you know that this is my favorite primer. I think it's already been in a favorites video. Um, yeah, and I would recommend getting it because it, the First Aid Beauty products are pretty pricey, I find. But everything I've tried from them, I've really liked. So I do think it's worth it. And this is specifically good for dry skin because it is like a moisturizing primer. And it gives a bit of a glow. So I really like this one. I won't say too much more about it because I've already mentioned it and I use it in like all of my videos. So... That's my first recommendation. I have so many lip products. The products are like my favorite um, thing about makeup. So this is also something I've already mentioned. Where's the other one? Oh. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. I have all three shades because... I just love them. So the first one was the Fenty Glow, um, right? I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. So it was like the nude shade, looks like this. Um, and all the glasses have shimmer in them, but they're so nice. And they have a big applicator, doe foot applicator like that. Um, they smell amazing, they're not sticky. They are kind of thick, but in a good way because it means like they don't just like evaporate off your lips. Um, they actually stay quite a while. Um, and then she came out with Diamond Milk. This one that is kind of scary because it looks like it's going to be like a pearly white metallic sheen on your lips, but it's not. I'm actually wearing it right now over another lipstick that... I do mention here um, so if you can tell it's more like it just um, it's really a clear base even though it looks white it's just because that's how much like shimmer is in it so it looks like this um, in a swatch so when you put it over lipstick or like a liquid lipstick it gives a really nice um, sheen and it doesn't feel like um, gritty or anything which is really good and then her newest shade is fussy so it's like a more pink shade 
Um, I really like this one too. I honestly like all of them. It just depends like what I feel like putting on. Um, but I would wear any of those. Um, just like when I'm not even wearing makeup. Because it, I actually do find they're moisturizing. I don't know if it's just me, but when I wear these like, and then I take them off, it feels like I had lip balm on. So that's another reason why I really like those. Um, I have another product from Fenty. Um, it's still in the box. This is her liquid, what do they call these? The Stunna Lip Paints Long Wear Fluid Lip Color. So it's her liquid lipstick um, line. I got the new shade. Ugh, can't even see. I got the new shade Unattached, which is like a really nice bright coral shade which I thought would be really nice for spring it looks like that so pretty yeah I actually just got this so I'm gonna do another haul <laughs> in a while because like I mentioned before I got my $100 VIB Rouge thing and I was at Sephora and I was like oh I'll use it but then I couldn't like redeem it in store because they needed the barcode. But when you redeem it, they send you an email. And I didn't have the email on my phone anymore. Anyway, it's a long story. So, but anyway, I bought it anyway because I knew like I'm gonna buy stuff at Sephora even if I don't have a gift card. So I got that because I just couldn't help myself. Um, this is. So I do recommend this for the sale because these are like 30 bucks, I believe, Canadian. Um, so you might as well get a discount on it. I do think that's pretty pricey for a lip product, even at Sephora. But I did, I wore it already and I did kind of like my own wear test. Like I didn't actually go anywhere. I just wore it in my house, but it stayed on like forever and the thing that's good about them is like it doesn't dry out your lips um like a lot of liquid lipsticks do but when it so it does like transfer like if you put it on and then you like did the kiss test you would have the mark on your hand but as it wears off it kind of also leaves a stain so even if like you're eating or whatever um or you're going out like it doesn't like you know, it doesn't like break down like a normal liquid lipstick does and looks kind of gross. Like it wears off really nicely. So that's why I do recommend those. Um, even for people that don't normally like a liquid lipstick because they think they're too dry, which is me most of the time, I do still really like those. Um, and there's tons of colors. I actually do want the other new shade. I forget what it's called, but it's like a fuchsia. But I do have lipsticks already in that shade. But this one I thought was unique enough to get. So that's what it looks like. It kind of looks red on camera, but it's more like a coral, like a pink shade. Yeah. And it look really good in the summer when I have more of a tan, hopefully. <laughs> oh, I should have mentioned this first. Lip balm. So, one thing I do recommend for the sale is the Laneige Sleeping Mask, Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, I do have a mini one, but it like rolled under my bed <laughs> and I'm too lazy to get it. So, yeah, maybe I'll put a picture up here, but you probably know what it is if you watch other YouTube videos because literally everyone loves it. Um, so you put it on at night, but you can use it during the day as a lip balm, whatever. Um, I do really like that product, but one that I really like for during the day is this, um, one from Tarte. I think this has already been in a favorites video, and I wore this in my first ever YouTube video because this is part of, like, my everyday makeup routine when, like, I actually put makeup on but I'm not going like out at night like I'm just going shopping or something or to like a family thing um, I usually wear this lip product so it is a tinted lip balm so it feels really nice on the lips this is the shade nude did I say what it's called I never remember 
quench lip rescue um so it is very moisturizing it's a really nice shade um it's not sticky yeah i just really like these and i also have a clear one so there is a clear version if you want like just a basic lip balm you can use it as a lip balm if you don't want a tint but i really like this shade also um and i also have some other lip glasses here this one is like a rediscovered favorite my box of things it's the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. I just wore this in my last video and I was like, oh, I forgot. I love this. So it has like a long, like a flatter doe foot, if you can see. Um, and it smells like peaches. So some people don't like the scent of these, but I think it's really nice. Like yeah it's not like too fake to me but a lot of people say it is so i don't know but i really like it and this is a shade papa don't peach it's more like a nude shade but they have like true like peach shades or more like pink shades for spring they'd be really nice so um i do recommend these as well they're really good and my other favorite lip gloss right now um it's not actually this shade although i do really like this one the mark jacobs um enamored high shine glosses these are some of the best lip glosses on the market i think so they have like this kind of flat doe foot as well um but it's not as long as the Too faced one um these smell like mint and they're just so good like they're kind of like the Fenty glasses and that they're like a bit thicker but that means like they give more color and they're not sticky they just like wear really well so that's why I like these so yeah if you're sensing a trend in things like that I like for my lips it's like very hydrating glossy stuff right now um, yeah so I do recommend these Marc Jacobs is pretty pricey, so definitely a good item to get on sale to save money. <laughs> to save money. Um, but my my favorite shade in this, it's actually in my purse, and it's not even like this size. This is a mini size, by the way. But yeah, the shade in my purse, it's pretty thing. That one I love, um, but it wasn't even like this size. It's like a 100 point perk, so it's like even tinier than this. But it's more like a pink shade. I really like that one as well. I also took out these Tarte uh, Color Splash lipsticks. I only have two mini ones, um, but these were like some of my favorite lipsticks. Um, and then I found another one today that I really enjoy. So I have this shade Beach Babe. I'll swatch these because they're really nice nude shades for spring and summer. And they're so similar actually. <laughs> the other shade is Rum Punch. So this is Beach Babe and that's Rum Punch. So Rum Punch is a bit darker nude. And Beach Babe is quite light and looks light on my lips also. These are like, they feel really hydrating as well. But they're not like that shiny. Like, I mean, I guess a bit. But sometimes I feel like they look a bit more matte. And the, the formula is like really thin. So if you just want to like throw something on, you don't want to put too much on the lips. I really like these. But the reason I brought these out is because, so I did buy one thing on sale. I just got this actually, but I swatched it in the store next to those two shades because I didn't want to buy it if it was like a dupe, but it was, it wasn't the same. Even though it might look the same, I don't find. So this is the new Becca lipstick. What do they call these again? Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Sugar. So 
I swatched it next. It's this one. So I know like to most people, they'd be like, that's the same. But to me, this is more of a pinky nude. And these are more like peach, almost brownie nudes. So yeah, I got this today. Because they are quite pricey. They're 29 but they have nice packaging. It's um, magnetic. Um, and these, like, I've been getting rave reviews on YouTube. So, especially this shade. I find, like, everyone's talking about this shade. And it is really nice. So, this is what I'm wearing. But I did put the Fenty Gloss Balm on top because I just wanted to. <laughs> I want it to be very glossy but if you can tell on the swatch maybe not because of the lighting but this feels like even more hydrating than these so if you want a lipstick that's more like a glossy um, finish I would get this they're really good there's so many colors too but that's the one that attracted to me and then we get to some things I think I only have one thing that's not from Sephora actually but I had to mention it because um, I really like it it's an eyeshadow from VDL so if you guys saw I did a whole video on this brand because um, I've been testing out the foundation I'm wearing it again today but um, this is one of the eyeshadows I got it's the shade Moss and it's like one of my favorites. I'm wearing it today. If you can tell, um, I that's the only shade I have and I have some thing else from a palette that I'll mention um, in the inner corner and the brow bone but this is a shade on my lids. I just love it. Like it's so shiny and I think it goes really well with green eyes. It's like a taupey brown shade and originally I thought it looked green but it's really like a taupe so it looks like that. Yeah, I really like this. I don't know how easy it is to get but um, you can watch that VDL Influencer video because I did get these products complimentary from Influencer just to test out um, but I talk a lot more about that brand and more details in that video if you want to see it but this is like my favorite eyeshadow right now which is funny because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and like I choose to wear this like one color <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this but yeah I really like this um, eyeshadow um, so since we're talking about eyeshadow for VIB sale recommendations um, I have two palettes here you probably know what these are from Anastasia or ABH as they say um, so the first one is like the OG modern renaissance um, palette so this is a very warm palette it does have some cool tones in it also but it's quite it gives like well, depending on what shade you use, I mean, you could go either way. But this is, like, known for the warm shades. Um, so, like, these, like, reddish pink shades over here. Um, so, the reason I'm mentioning these is because I think these are great palettes for beginners or people that have a lot of eyeshadow because the formula is just really good the only thing like to warn beginners with with abh shadows is they're very soft and powdery um i don't know if you can tell yeah you probably can like mm, not really but some of these shades like there's huge dips in them and i've only used this palette like a handful of times it looks like i've used this forever but it's just because that's how soft the shades are. So if you use like a stiff brush, it's very powdery. So that's just one thing to watch for. But um, I think the colors that she chooses for all the palettes are super um, like versatile. And yeah, the other one is the Sultry palette. This is her newer one. Uh, it looks like this, so it's more like a smoky, 
cool tone. Mm, maybe not. Maybe like a neutral. I don't know. But um, yeah, I just find these are so blendable. And you always get like, well, pretty much you get the color that's in the pan because it's so pigmented. Um, but you can build them up which I really like and that's why I think like most people would like these palettes so if you're looking for an eyeshadow palette I would suggest ABH the other palettes I have from her are limited edition so I'm not like mentioning them because I don't even think you can get them anymore but these two are still available and I think they're um, in the permanent line so yeah I really like those and something else that I've been using a lot lately, I actually had it for a while, but I just forgot about it because I have so much makeup. It's these um, Makeup Forever, these like palettes that you make yourself. But I went to check today on the app to see like the price and everything. And I don't even think you can get this anymore, which I find is crazy because everyone loved this when it released but it's not on the sephora canada website as far as i know maybe i missed something um but yeah so i made this myself and actually like um this was gifted to me from my cousin so caitlin if you're watching hello thank you for this um i chose these shades um and this blush i'm choosing as like my spring blush um i'm actually gonna film another video of like my spring everyday makeup because i'm gonna switch out what i have now um for more like new stuff so i'm pretty excited about that but yeah i haven't been wearing this like in the winter months because it just like this shade is just too like it screams spring to me so now is the perfect time to use it and i've been using this as a contour shade and it's working really well it blends really nice and it's not too dark for my skin tone and this shade i don't know if you can yeah i thought this was a highlighter when i chose it but it's like a matte powder so what i do with this is i just like put it under like on my under eye to brighten um, but it does like work really well also and these are like the softest powders you will ever, ever feel they're like so smooth and I think that's why they blend so well so but I guess you can't get it anymore I don't know maybe on the Makeup Forever site but yeah then it's not going to be discounted because it's not at Sephora but yeah, I thought I'd mention this anyway because it is like an actual favorite right now. Um, and I think, yeah, I just have a few more things. So real quick, my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel. If you need a fiber brow gel, <laughs> um, I would suggest this one. Especially during the sale because it's like $34 just for this. But it does last a while. I like it because of the brush shape. It looks like that. It has like longer bristles on one side so you can get like the front brows. As you guys know if you watch my other videos, this is like all I wear in my brow. I don't put like pencil or powder or anything um, unless I'm feeling like doing that but I usually don't. I just use this. So I'm wearing it today. Um, you can see like it does have like a hold and it makes your brows fluffier which is something I need and I like the shade of this because it makes my brows darker normally they're very blonde like towards the end so it looks like I don't even have eyebrows on the end so that's why I really like this I won't say too much more because I use it in every video so you guys already know that I love this and the shade I have is soft brunette and for setting spray, since we can now get MAC at Sephora Canada, I had to mention my Fix Plus. As you can see, I have like 
only a few uses left. I'm not going to repurchase it for the sale because I have so many other setting sprays to use up. And I actually have three minis of this in different scents. So I want to use those. Um, but yeah, this is, I think it's $30. So it's really good to get a discount on. And I just love the effect. Um, I'm wearing it now. I am wearing like tons of other glowy stuff but um, I find this is really good especially for dry skin because if you put like a foundation on that's too matte or you like over powdered you just have to use this and it will honestly just fix your issues because it like melds everything together and it gives like a sheen to the face um, yeah I just really like this I guess it helps to for prolonging your makeup although I don't usually wear my makeup that long anyway so I haven't really tested that out but it seems to I mean from what I've noticed and you can use this as a primer as well if you want like a sticky base for your foundation because there is um, glycerin in here I believe that's what makes that effect so yeah, it is a bit tacky, but not really. I mean, I don't feel it right now, but it's supposedly it helps as a primer also. And I use this to, if I'm um, putting a metallic shade on my lid that's like too dry or crumbly, if you use this, it will make it so much easier to apply. So that's why I have like none left because I use it for a lot of things. Um, and I have one tool to mention, which I think you cannot get it online anymore, but I saw it in store, so I'm going to still mention it because it's a really good deal. So actually, um, these Sephora brushes, I didn't like pay much attention to them. I don't really pay much attention to the Sephora brand. But the things that I do have, I actually really like them and they're usually cheaper than the other brands that Sephora carries because it's like their own house brand. But the brushes are such good quality. So this one is currently on sale. Uh, it's like 50% off so you get like 70% off um, if you want this brush and a few other ones. But this is my new favorite brush for highlighting it's the sephora pro fan detail 62 number 62 yeah so it's like a mini fan and it's just perfect for highlighting because because of the shape like when you put it in your highlighter you get some like on the sides so when you apply your highlighter it's not like a thin stripe it actually like diffuses it and this is like the softest brush ever i don't know i just really love it and considering it was 15 dollars like amazing so i hope that this is still available in store because i think it's sold out online um, but any of the Sephora brushes that are on sale, there's some other ones that I want. Um, I would recommend if you need more brushes. I don't really need any more. But I had to get this because, yeah, I'm just... Like, I when I saw the shape of it, I just knew, like, I could picture how it would apply the highlighter. And I was like, I need that. So, yeah, I recommend this brush also. So, I think that's it. Yeah. I feel like that was a lot. I mean, it wasn't really a good variety of things because it was mostly lip products. But yeah, I just don't like normally the VIB sale, I go crazy. But honestly, if I think about it, I don't need anything right now. Um, but you will see another haul from Sephora because of my $100 gift card. Um, but there is some things that I bought that I did need so it wasn't really like a splurging type thing Some of it was like things I needed So yeah, that's it. So I'll leave more information below about the sale because like I said I don't remember it off by heart, but I hope to get this video up 
ASAP because the sale ends on May 6th so yeah I hope you like this video and that it was helpful and if you have any questions or you want to know anything more uh, about these products just let me know below and uh, like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!